Today, Jason and I are going to show you how to make baked potatoes. Um, we're going to start off. What are you telling them, Papa? Okay, and he's telling you we're going to show you the first step. First step, I make the bacon because I like using fresh bacon, not none of those bacon bits that come in a container in the market. Notice how the bacon is in little bits. I cut it with the kitchen scissors. Um, they originally were in slices, like they always come, and then I cut it into little bite, bite size bits. Okay, so my side chef over here, which is the sous chef, right? Ditched me, and he's over there, dancing and eating his puffs. We're gonna just set the oven to 350, which I already set it just right now. It's at 350. Let me show you. Okay. And I'm letting it warm up for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my baked potato in a little bit. Let me show you how I do the baked potato. I'm already done with the bacon, so I'm gonna put that into my bowl. And then I'll show you the baked potato part. So we're gonna line the bowl with some napkins. And then with one of these, a spoon with holes. Huh? Yeah. Gather all the bacon. We don't need this anymore. So I'm going to make three baked potatoes, one for me, one for my mom, and then one for my boyfriend. And you want to make sure that you have decent sized potatoes, not those little tiny ones that come in the five pound bag. And they're dirty, so I'm going to wash them first. And make sure you're washing it, if you're washing it with cold water or else you're going to start cooking it if you use hot water. So run it under the faucet and with a brush, here's the one I use to clean um, my food. It's, I think it's like better if you're scrubbing it under the water so it's all falling off all the dirt. So that's what I'm going to do. So now those are clean. Rinse out your brush. You don't want to have to keep growing bacteria. Okay, after washing your potatoes with a fork, you're going to put two holes, you're going to punch holes twice on each side of the potato and one on the ends. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. Put that to the side. Next, I put a little bit of oil into a bowl. I feel like this is an easier way for me to do what I'm about to do. So I put some oil in the bowl, enough that to coat three potatoes. I put a little bit more than that. I'm just eyeing it. I'm not really giving you guys measurements. Don't overdo it. You only need enough to coat the potatoes. Okay, so this is how much oil I put into my bowl. And all you're going to do is put your potato in there. And with clean hands, put the oil all over the potato. Make sure it's all over and this looks like it's fully coated. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in here and get the next one and do the same. And the 
done with some Himalayan salt, the kind that you can like twist and I'm gonna sprinkle some all over the baked potatoes. And the oil is gonna help the baked potato turn crispy from the outside, the skin's gonna turn crispy, and then the salt just adds flavor. Now you're ready to put them into the oven. Okay, so let's turn on the light so we can see what's happening. It's already been warming up for 10 minutes. I'm going to put the sheet on the second row. And then the baked potatoes are going to go on the actual rack like that. You want to make sure that you're putting the potatoes over the tray so that when any oil drips, it just falls onto that and you have less of a mess in your oven. Okay, that's what it looks like. They're ready to be closed. So they're ready to bake. We're going to leave them in there for 60 minutes. Set your timer. Okay, an hour. And then after an hour, I'll show you the next step. While the baked potato is cooking, this is a really good time to finish prepping the rest of the toppings for your baked potato. And for me, I already pre prepared the bacon, as you saw in the beginning of this video. And now I'm gonna just cut the green onions, shred some cheddar cheese, and then the sour cream and the butter. That could just stay in the fridge until you're ready to use that. So let's begin. So this is the bacon. Let's start with shredding the cheddar cheese. Okay, now I'm going to cut my green onion, but I'm going to wash it down real quick because it's probably dirty. You should always be washing your veggies when you get them from the market, even your fruits, because nasty people are touching these. So it's clean, and I'm just going to slice it, take off the end with the hair, and chop the rest. Things. Salt, pepper, cheese, green onions bacon, sour cream, and butter. Now we just wait for the baked potatoes to finish. Okay, so my baked potatoes are ready. The alarm just rang and it's counting down. So let's turn that off. And let's look at mine. Wow. Yummy. Okay. I'm going to use these. And pull them out. One. Two. Three. We can go ahead and close this and turn this off. The light is off. Oh no, it's not. It's on. Off. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I cut them open. So I made a slice at the top and then by pinching on each side, squeezing it together, I was able to open it just like this. And look at all the steam coming out. Mm. Okay, and while it's really hot like this, this is the best time to put butter and cheese.
He's gonna be here later. I want his to stay warm. I'm gonna wrap it up in a little I'm actually gonna leave it in the oven too. Because it's still warm. Here's my baked potato. Mine does have green onions, but I'm realizing that I totally forgot my pepper. So here's some salt. Okay. And lots of pepper. More. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yum. Hi, Bubba. What are you doing? Can't you see? Okay, Papa. What do you want to have, buddy? Thank you for watching my mom's little cooking video. This is how she makes baked potatoes. Hope you guys enjoy. Love you. Mm. <laughs> well, baby. I love you. <laughs> yeah, you. Kish? No kish? Okay.